Hey guys, is it snowing again? All right, so as you can see, another snowstorm. And I uh, was gonna work on the Wagoneer today because we have to drop the transmission and rebuild it. Uh, but because of today's weather, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go see a movie. You got a plan. It's high risk. I thought the whole point was to win the Dobbs race. guys like us because we're different if this were a beauty pageant we just lost looks hard everything this is your ford versus ferrari mile point three garage review hey i don't go to the movies very much so watch this all the way through Welcome back to my point three. Uh, it's been maybe three weeks since I've made a video. For those of you who are stopping by for the first time, uh, because we're talking about a movie, um, this is a home garage. Uh, it's not a big production facility. Uh, it's me and my wife and my two daughters, and we uh, quasi restore cars like this 73 Bronco. Uh, behind the camera is a 74 Bronco that's in the middle of being restored, meaning that it's blown up into pieces. Uh, outside is an 83 Wagoneer that we have uh, a special project for uh, and then we also have a YJ Jeep and we have a couple of other things on the horizon that I'm looking at as well and we just basically dabble in all of this stuff. It's not super exciting. Uh, it's like having a, uh, uh, a friend next door that likes to buy stupid projects and blow them up and you can go and look at it and uh, and kind of enjoy it for a little bit, but not have to spend your money on it and uh, be in the middle of it. So, uh, so if you're not already a subscriber, please do subscribe. Uh, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I think that's a good round number. So, uh, if you could help us out with that, we'd appreciate it. So, there is a blizzard outside, 17 inches of snow. We decided that we were going to go ahead and go see a movie. The only way that I'm probably going to go see a movie in a theater is if it has skiing in it. Um, like mountaineering mountains, that kind of thing. Uh, vengeance of some kind, which includes uh, going after the bad guy uh, or cars. And for that reason, I am probably not going to see Mr. Rogers at the theaters. That 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 won't happen. So there aren't very many uh, car movies being made now, especially car movies being made about older cars, which obviously I'm more fond of than newer cars. Uh, so when this Ford versus Ferrari came out, it looked exciting to me. I love the actors. Uh, I love Christian Bale. Uh, he's one of my favorite actors. And I, I kind of know the backstory to this because um, I, I know I love auto racing. And uh, so, I mean, if you, if you love auto racing and you love history, you probably know this story already. Um, so going and seeing this movie was going to be one of those, well, it's either going to disappoint because it's not at all accurate or it's portrayed in a, in a way other than what you think it's going to be, or it's going to be fantastic. Uh, it's going to change your perception of, uh, of the history of that race. If you want my advice on this movie, Netflix, most all of you have a Netflix account. We cut the cord a long time ago. Um, so the only thing that we have now is like Netflix and, and the free Hulu. There is a documentary called She'll Be American. And uh, if you have the opportunity to watch that, it's about a two hour documentary, it's pretty long. Uh, it'll kind of give you a backstory to a lot of this um, and uh, kind of catch up speed if you're not super familiar with it. Um, I watched Shelby American after I watched Ford vs. Ferrari. Um, and watching that, I thought if I had seen that before, uh, it would have been fun to kind of contrast the things that happened in the movie to the documentary. Don't know which one is more accurate. Uh, I think both of them are pretty accurate. Uh, I've even watched some what Ford versus Ferrari, the errors that were in Ford versus Ferrari. I watched those videos after I watched the movie as well. And they were so small that, you know, had I seen that before I went and watched the movie, it probably would have made any difference. But I will say this, go to a theater that has the best sound system that you can find. So if you can, uh, you know, look up, you know, maybe the newer movie theaters that have a really great surround sound, real big bass kind of uh, sound systems in it. Uh, this movie, if you get anything else out of it, it has the sounds in this movie will made the entire movie for me. The acting was good and the cars were awesome, but the sounds during the entire movie were just unbelievable and 
uh, when I left, my the, the the movie theater that we went to is a is a small movie theater that's almost brand new. Very few people go to it, and it was so loud in there that my ears were a little bit ringing when I left the movie theater, which to me was kind of tantamount to going to a really good concert. So um, it was it was that good for me. I love this movie, by the way. So if you guys see right through this, uh, this this movie to me was was awesome. My favorite car movie until I saw Ford vs. Ferrari was gone in 60 seconds. And, uh, and obviously because it had a lot of old cars in it and uh, most of those old cars I plan on owning in my lifetime, hopefully if I can uh, you know, get to the point where I can do that. Uh, but uh, this Ford vs. Ferrari movie was right up there for me. Um, I still think Gone in 60 Seconds is the greatest car movie ever. That's obviously my personal opinion and I love that. Uh, but Ford vs. Ferrari is very close. Uh, I think the sounds in Ford vs. Ferrari made it for me, and, uh, and the storyline was good as well. The name of the film is Ford vs. Ferrari. Um, I'm not going to give away a lot of the plot lines if you know the story behind uh, Ford's um, entry into the 1966 24-hour Le Mans race. Um, then you, you'll know a lot of the storyline, so, but I'm not going to give away some of the details. But I will say that the movie is less about Ford versus Ferrari, and it's more about Shelby versus Ford. And that, that's my takeaway of it anyway. The majority of the plot line is Henry Ford II and Lee Iacocca working with uh, Carol Shelby and Ken Miles, who is the, uh, the, basically the, the head engineer and, and driver for the... GT40s that Ford raced in that race, and um, the the conflict between those groups uh, and the conflict that Shelby had with uh, trying to develop his own car line and his own uh, program versus heading for or heading Ford's GT40 program, which was really Ford Ford's engineers designing a vehicle, which was a GT40, giving it to Shelby because the GT40 was not all that good a car after Ford designed it. And then Shelby and his team made it better and then entered it into the 24 hour of Le Mans um, race. So that's what the, the, the story centered on. And I read somewhere that Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise were gonna play these parts. And it's actually probably a good thing they didn't because Matt Damon and Christian Bale knocked it out of the park. I think that they were born to play these roles and I felt very connected to the characters. Uh, especially um, Christian Bale's Ken Miles character was really good. And uh, uh, my wife, who you guys know, Mandy, who is involved in all of these projects, um, is, is a car girl. Um, she's more of a truck Jeep girl than she is an actual like race car. She doesn't watch auto racing or anything like that. She wanted to go to this movie with me and she watched it. And about a quarter of the way through the movie, this is a movie theater that has those big relaxing loungers where you can relax out in them and everything. She had her lounger up and she was actually facing forward with her hands on her knees watching this movie because it was so on the edge all the time. And um, not being into auto racing, she totally got into it. Um, that says a lot to me about how universal this movie is because I, I was thinking, you know, this is a very small demographic that this movie is playing to. Um, but if more people saw it, for instance, my children, uh, I've got a 16 year old daughter and an eight year old daughter. Uh, my eight year old daughter is totally into cars. She helps me on these vehicles. She loves the smell of the garage, gasoline, things like that. So she would love this movie. My 16 year old daughter really doesn't care too much about cars. Um, and I still think she would like this movie, uh, just because of how, just because of the storyline and the way that they made it, the, the drama that they placed in this, uh, this movie is that good. You really feel for the characters, especially the Ken Miles character. You really feel for him because during the movie, he keeps kind of getting shoved out of the way and shoved out of the way and shoved out of the way and then had the ultimate shove during this movie uh, that you just, you just feel for him. And I didn't know much. I knew the name Ken Miles because I heard it before, but I didn't know who Ken Miles was specifically. Um, and now I realize that uh, he was a significant character in Carol Shelby's programs uh, and Ford's GT40 program. And uh, so this movie enlightened me to that. And uh, I will buy this on, you know, Blu-ray or whatever comes out next after Blu-ray. And uh, I will probably buy a sound system for my basement um, 
that is uh, top of the line don't really care about that too much outside of the fact that I want to watch this movie over and over again and be able to hear it like I did in the theater because that's really what made it for me. So if you haven't already, go out there and see it. Uh, I would pay the money to go and see it in a theater. I think renting it when it comes out and listening to it at home on regular TV uh, speakers isn't going to do it justice. I honestly think it's going to lose something when you watch it on your home TV if you don't have surround sound and your sound system is not that good. That's what made it for me. Get out there into the theaters right now and go see it. I wouldn't say that about hardly any other movie uh, because I don't like spending $30 on movie and popcorn. Um, I would rather go and spend that money on a really good meal. Um, but, but this is one of those movies that you have to see in the theater. So get out there now, go see it. Uh, we're gonna be jumping back on this. Obviously I got, my body work is literally almost done. I'm waiting for the heater to get delivered. I did make a decision on a heater. I've got to get that installed. I got to turn it on and then we start spraying. I've already picked out the paint. We'll do a video on picking out of the paint and what paint color we're going to use. Uh, and then we're going to paint this thing in the winter in our garage uh, and we're going to try not to screw it up. So um, that is your next door buddy, Chris from Mile Point 3 Garage saying, go out, see Ford versus Ferrari. Please subscribe. And that's a wrap for Mile Point 3 Garage. Give me one reason why I don't fire everyone starting with you. Well, sir, we're lighter, we're faster. And that don't work, we're nastier. Go ahead, Carol. Go to war.